Hi, and welcome to a new video of Power to the Plurals. My name is Emily, and today I'll be your host. So the purpose of this video is to inform you about something we recently did called a DNA passport. So that's what we had made. Uh, with a difficult word, it is called parmogenetic profile. And we did this by contacting our GP. We filmed the whole process. Well, not if, uh, us contacting the GP. Um, um, so we contacted the, the GP and explained that there is this test that can see how you respond to certain medications. And because we have such weird side effects to medications, nothing ever really seems to work or we need like extremely high doses of medications to make it work. We've never found anything since 2012 that helped us. So we have been off medication for a long time um, because we couldn't find anything that worked. We tried again this year after our physical uh, problems came up and it just, you know, again, didn't work for us. Um, even with the fancy new medication, um, it just, it just didn't work out. So <laughs> we got this, um, test done by our local hospital, um, which is a very big hospital in our country. So <laughs> don't get me wrong. Um, it's a very good hospital and it's a hospital that, um, is an educational hospital and a research hospital. So that might also have to do with it, but you should be able to find it or your doctor should be able to find it in your own like local area or in your own country even. Um, so they send us this package um, that we could just do in our own kitchen so we didn't have to go to the hospital. We got two packages, um, the XL package, which just like tests everything that they can possibly test. And then we had a, um, a specific test for SSRI antidepressant medication. Um, so that's why we had to do two or we wanted to do two. So it got fully covered by our Dutch health insurance, um, in, in, in like the basic package, which means that, um, if you, if you have a reason for the test, you can do it. So you need to have like an, uh, an app reaction to medication or something, um, or like you have tried a lot of medication, but nothing seems to work. Um, or you just like find the side effects or whatever. Uh, then it gets gets covered by Dutch health insurance. I also found a company in the Netherlands, but there are also companies like in your country, I'm sure, um, that provide this service. And that was 300 euros. So about like, let's say 325 in US dollars um, to do those the same tests as I did. Um, for me personally, if it wouldn't have been covered by the health insurance, I would for sure pay it for it myself. Um, I did had hope that it would be a little bit different than this, because this is what I got as a result back from the hospital. So I cut off the top part of the picture um, because it has my personal private information on there. Um, but uh, this is the card. So, um, and then the other side you can see there on the, on the screen, yeah. So, um, what this is, if obviously it's in Dutch, first of all, so that's, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'd hoped it would be in English, but no. Um, these are genes and, and the receptors in your brain. So, it's not a list of this medication works and this medication doesn't work. Um, we said before that we don't respond or like don't respond normally to 98% of medication. Um, my pharmacist informed me that I cannot say that because not every medication can be tested um, with this test yet. And some of this medication has some warning signs with it that say like, it's tested, but it's not proven yet or like, yeah, some, so it's like that. So this is the little credit card thingy that they gave me, um, that I can take with me. And then this is the test that, <laughs> that they gave me. So obviously these are gene types that I respond well to. Um, and then 
this one <laughs> is a bit more problematic um, because this is in a lot of antidepressants, all, um, almost all the benzos, um, this one as well. So, and um, what's also good to know is that they are combined often. So you could like, I respond well to two to three a four one but not to this one and then with some medication it's like combined so it still doesn't work out so you have to be careful so the idea is not that you do what i do and find out you know what this actually means and what all these codes stand for um because basically it's not gonna well, I found the information I needed, I guess, and I advised my own doctor on what to prescribe me, but that's not how it should be. So the idea is that the doctor who prescribes the medication, they send a medication plan to the pharmacy, and then the pharmacist can check together with <laughs> this test the paper version and the card version um, if you would respond well to that medication. So personally I really dislike this because obviously a lot of stuff I didn't respond well to um, so I didn't really understand like why the pharmacist couldn't say like okay have you tried this instead. Um, so that didn't happen so I had to do that myself because I was in a hurry, basically. Um, I wanted my medication be, like as soon as possible uh, because it obviously takes some time before it starts to work. Um, so the most incredible thing to me is that I now got prescribed a medication that is non-addictive, which is what I've been asking for since 2012 and everyone said it didn't exist. Um, it does exist, it works great on us, um, it corresponds with the test that we did. So um, I think we found a medication that works for us as a PNR medication. I don't think we need an antidepressant. Um, I was extremely depressed extremely depressed um i slept 17 hours a day um but once i stopped taking the antidepressant i was on and like that really got out of my system yeah i'm still starting to feel better by the week um which is quite remarkable i i'm starting to build up a normal sleep rhythm again taking some time but obviously this is not the best time of the year to like start working on a sleep rhythm schedule thing um but you know we're trying anyway and and it's working out so far so um yeah we're very happy that we did this test uh we're grateful that it got covered by insurance but if it wouldn't have we would still have taken this test um also for our physical problems uh, we we got some um, proof, I guess, of what medication does and doesn't work. So we have showed that to the hospital before the next operation, and they have agreed to prescribe the medication um, that that you know genetically would work best for us. So that's it's great. <laughs> really, it's it's a bit of um, a hassle to find out what works and doesn't work, like but what it all means i guess but once you do um then then it works out great yeah so that's our personal experience um if you have any questions you can let us know in power to the systems or power to the plurals facebook group depending if facebook lets me change the name uh we've all been waiting for a while now um or you can ask us of course in alternation or um uh where else can you find us? Twitter. We're on Twitter as well. So um, if you have any questions, let us know and see you for the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.